Skin cancer is the most common cancer diagnosis, but with early identification and treatment, the prognosis can be very good. The ABCDE rule, which stands for asymmetry, border regularity, color change, and variation, diameter of six millimeters or larger, and evolving in appearance, should be taught to patients so they may self-examine their skin at least once per month. A healthcare provider should be consulted if a lesion meets any of the ABCDE rule criteria. Skin cancer risk factors include fair skin type, having blonde or red hair, long-term sun exposure history, a personal or family history of skin cancer, tar exposure, older age, and systemic arsenic exposure. Living near the equator, working outside, and participating in a lot of outdoor activities can also increase the chance of developing skin cancer. By modifying or abstaining from certain behaviors, such as utilizing indoor tanning beds and sunbathing outdoors, the chance of developing skin cancer can be decreased. It's important to encourage patients to understand these risk factors and practice preventative measures in order to lessen their detrimental effects on skin health. Basal cell carcinoma, abbreviated BCC, and squamous cell carcinoma, abbreviated SCC, are examples of non-melanoma skin malignancies. Non-melanoma skin cancers, in contrast to melanoma skin cancers, arise in the epidermis. Sun exposure is the primary factor in the development of these cancers, which frequently affect exposed body parts such as the face, neck, and arms. Older Caucasian people frequently have actinic keratosis, a skin condition brought on by UV radiation. These lesions can be precursors to squamous cell cancer if left untreated. Medication, excision, cryotherapy, curatage, and laser therapy are all possible treatments for actinic keratosis. The most prevalent kind of skin cancer that arises from basal cells in the epidermis is basal cell carcinoma. Despite the rarity of metastasis, it can destroy tissue in the affected area. BCC lesions resemble papules that gradually increase and can have translucent or white edges. They may also be pigmented. Treatment options for BCC include cryosurgery, surgical removal such as Mohs surgery, and various topical medications such as fluorocell, tretinoin, amiquimod, diclofenac, dermabrasion, chemical peeling agents, laser resurfacing, or photodynamic therapy. If you're finding value in this video, then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And check out the link in the description to purchase an instant digital download of the Integumentary System and Disorders Nursing Notes, which includes the non-melanoma skin cancers reviewed in this video. Squamous cell carcinoma, which affects keratinizing epidermal cells, frequently develops at the base of actinic keratoses and other lesions in sun-exposed skin. Moreover, it can appear on skin that has already suffered damage from scarring, radiation, or sun exposure. Even though basal cell carcinoma is more frequent, SCC is still a serious health risk. It has the ability to spread to the dermis and skin around it. An increased risk of metastasis, which can be extremely aggressive and potentially fatal if not treated early and effectively, is linked to larger tumors. There are two types of SCC, in situ and invasive. In situ SCC is usually intraepidermal but may extend into the dermis. Bowen's disease is also known as in situ SCC and is a dysplastic epidermal lesion found on unexposed areas of the body, characterized by flat, reddish, scaly patches. Invasive SCC can arise from premalignant lesions of the skin, grow rapidly, and spread to regional lymph nodes. These tumors are firm, elevated, and have a granular surface that bleeds easily. The initial lesions of SCC are primarily superficial and include a red, scaly patch, that does not invade the dermis, and nodules with firm borders, scaling, and ulceration. As the condition progresses, a late-stage symptom may be the covering of the lesion with a scale or horn due to keratinization or ulceration. The lesions may also bleed or ooze. Diagnosis of SCC requires a biopsy, and treatment options include surgical excision, cryosurgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, electrodesiccation, and curatage. Early detection and treatment are essential since an untreated lesion may metastasize to regional lymph nodes and distant organs. SCC has a high cure rate with early detection and treatment. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions.